Tomorrow night, the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner, an event where journalists slap themselves on the back and tell each other how awesome they are. And in some cases, it's actually true and deserve it. The highlight every year is the roast of the media and the political elite from the keynote speaker slash comedian. This year, that'll be Daily Show correspondent Roy Wood Jr., who no doubt has been preparing for tomorrow night's performance for months. But now he has to throw out that whole script after the week of news that we just had in the media world with the firings of Fox News' Tucker Carlson and CNN's Don Lemon on the same day. MSNBC's Mehdi Hassan tweeted at the comedian, pretty sure Roy Wood Jr. is updating his remarks for the White House Correspondents' Dinner this coming Saturday, to which Roy Wood replied directly, updating, man, I gotta throw out the whole damn script. <laughs> After all, Carlson and Lemon were popular targets at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, even before the firings. Some of America's uh, finest black journalists are here tonight. Um, Don Lemon's here, too. Um. <laughs> hey, Don, how's it going? <laughs> Alleged journalist Don Lemon, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with Tucker Carlson, who almost certainly will not be at the dinner. Many might say, not a big deal for Fox. Fox has lost big personalities before. Bill O'Reilly, Megyn Kelly, and yet, despite a brief dip, Fox News came back with Carlson arguably filling part of the void. But now with Tucker Carlson gone, Fox News' primetime ratings plummeted, in particular during his hour, the 8 p.m. hour. First three days of the week, the show averaged 1.88 million viewers, more than 40% down from the 3.2 million viewers that Tucker Carlson averaged nightly during the first quarter of 2023. And by the way, the key demographic, it's even worse. Tucker Carlson releasing a video on Wednesday. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them as if he had never taken two days off before to think about it. Look, he clearly wants to position himself as the outsider, who will, of course, say the same stuff he was saying before. But maybe it will be even more effective not being at a big network. Mercedes, you've spent a lot of time at Fox News. How much I of did. an impact do you think this is going to have on them? We'll have to see. I mean, look, it's too early to tell. There are very, their viewers are very faithful to Fox. They will likely come back. We saw there are obviously dips and valleys when other changes with that 8 p.m. hour. And it came back with roaring success. So it's left to be seen. They came back in post-2020, right? They lost a lot of viewers immediately after 2020 when they started reflecting the reality that Donald Trump had lost. And so viewers flo uh, started flocking to some of the, the more um, you know, further right networks like <laughs> OAN, Newsmax, et cetera. And that is the concern now for Fox. John, legitimate concern? What is the concern? That, Tucker that they're going to lose their viewers? Is it permanent? No, I mean, OAN's pretty hobbled, and the numbers surge that those channels saw in 2020 have gone down quite a bit. They've weathered storms before. No one thought that O'Reilly would be replaced by someone who would do better numbers than O'Reilly. And again, we still don't know the full reason why Tucker was let go. I mean, obviously, he had a lot to do with Rupert forking over three quarters of a billion dollars for the lies about Dominion in the 2020 election, but we've since learned, because Rupert Murdoch is leaking to his Washington Post, that so Tucker Wall Street was, Journal. Wall Street. Oh, it was Wall, yeah, sorry, yeah, Wall, yeah, Wall Street yeah, yeah. Journal. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Wall yeah. Street Journal yeah. that um, Tucker said a number of things about female superiors in the couple that men, sh in, in the corporation, that men should not say. I mean, Rupert fired him personally, and I don't think you'll be seeing Tucker Carlson say anything derogatory about Fox News because he knows they have a pile of opposition research. And as far as those audience, I hope they get some sense and switch over to Newsmax, Dan. That's what they should be. <laughs> Lauren, what do you think? I mean, Fox. Fox's audience is so tremendous because there are not choices for conservatives like there are on the liberal end of the spectrum. Now there are more, though. I mean, uh, now you not have... at the scale. Newsmax doesn't get the viewers that CNN does, and vice versa. They're all duking it out on the moderate to, I mean, really the liberal side, and Fox is still the king on the conservative side, and yeah. I don't see the audience going anywhere. No yeah. matter what. I don't know no matter what, yeah. but in this case, They're I smart, think it's survivable. I think a network is bigger than the talent. I, it's true. I, I, 
I don't know why I think this, but I do think that they are going to take a permanent hit for some of this. No. So, I don't we think shall so. see. Look, they're, they're look. such tremendous talent, Dan. They're going to be just fine. We'll, we'll see. I mean, and, and everything in history would suggest I'll be wrong, right? right? Everything you look back on would indicate that I'm not going to be right. But there's something about this that feels different. Tucker Carlson is going to either go to a different network, start his own right. thing, he or will. whatever it is. He's going to take those people uh, with him in a way that I don't think that Bill O'Reilly... He'll do exactly what Glenn Beck did and yeah. start his own thing, it, probably in the studio that Fox built for him. By the way, we saw what it looks like when Tucker does his own lighting. Yeah. Uh, and he will be, have a show that people can watch when they want, and in prime time, they'll go back to Fox. Right. We'll see. Tucker Carlson's head, not the only one to roll in the world of cable news this week. After his abrupt firing from CNN, Don Lemon showed up on the red carpet for the 100... At time, 100 Gala in New York, and had a pretty good idea of what his immediate future holds. I'm going to spend my summer on the beach and on the boat and with my family and just chill out, and then I'll see what happens next. But I am fortunate enough to be in a position where I can do that, where I have time. I don't have to rush to another job, if, even if I want another job. I do. I want to work again. Yeah, it was a surprise, but life goes on. You know, that's behind me, and we'll see what happens in the future. So... There were a lot of far-right conservatives who were furious about Tucker um, getting the boot. But Democrats don't really seem to be coming to Don Lemon's defense a whole lot. Why, John? It's not a cult. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> it, it, no one was surprised by Don Lemon's firing. And full disclosure, I know him. I've done his show. He's a yeah. nice enough fellow. But he was having problems with the establishment for a while. If his numbers were better, this probably wouldn't have happened. He lost his own primetime show, and they moved him to platoon him in the mornings. He wasn't happy. He was getting in trouble in the morning show. So this wasn't really a shock, and liberals have never looked to CNN or Don Lemon as their standard. Well, voice. see, I think that what happened was, Lauren, is that he alienated the left, right? His comments about women right. alienated the left. Yeah. There and were other comments, and so he lost any base. Tucker has a base, a base of support. The problem for Don is that he alienated some of what would have been his base. Well, and John makes a good point because a lot of these things are market driven and they're sort of disguised as other things, but you yeah. can't just behave any which way and and break the rules and get away with it. And, you know, I thought about this issue a lot at the time and I have a lot of con yeah, experience as a self-identified conservative and really liberal environment, academia, uh, and, and things get said that are inappropriate appropriate because people assume we're all buddies and we're all progressive and hey I can say this joke or I can do this thing and people get too comfortable and there are consequences. Do you think that if his numbers in the morning show were higher he would have been let go? I don't know. I mean, I think you have the experience in the media that I yeah. don't. Well, perhaps, look, and, and we now know that they actually did economic. market research There's as to his popularity. That and this is, but that's yeah. the point you were making before: is that they actually examined his, and they claim that his popularity was decreasing. Clearly, a leak from CNN. Um, yes. Uh, and, yeah. and look, this is an ugly business, man. Yep. It is so ugly. Yes. The leaking and the releasing of information and the claiming that we're wishing them well in their next endeavors while sitting there and stabbing them in the back. But um, it's... Yeah. It's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. It's cool. And I've been in this business a long time. <laughs> <laughs> ugly, ugly business. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.